Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the iOS notification settings. So tons of apps in iOS on your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch will send you notifications. These could be sounds, these could be messages on the screen, these could be things in the special notification center. And it's important to get familiar with the settings for notifications which you can find in the settings app so you can control all this so you're not bombarded all day long by notifications from different apps. So in the iPad you go to settings and in there under notifications on the left you see now we've got your notification settings. So the first thing you'll see is the sort. You can sort manually or by time. Now the notification center is what this is sorting and you can tap and drag from the top of the screen down bring up your notification center. This shows you all your most recent notifications. And here I've got it sorted by time. If I sort manually it's going to use the list there at the bottom. You can see FaceTime first, messages second, etc. And we'll sort then. So you can see my messages, my FaceTime messages appear above those USA Today news items. Now if you want to sort the way that notifications appear in the notification center manually uh, you would set it of course manually at the top and you would tap the edit button at the upper right. Now you can drag from the right side up and down the list and change the order which things appear. Now each of these individual items here in the notification center have settings in them. So for instance let's go to messages and here we can see that we've got a ton of settings. So we can say whether or not the items appear in the notification center there at the top and how many items to show. Then when alerts happen, when somebody sends you a message, you can decide how it appears. You can have it set to none so it doesn't appear at all on your screen, uh, a quick banner at the top, or an alert which will appear in the middle of the screen interrupting what you're doing. Um, you can also uh, have a lot of different things like the badge app icon. That uh, gives you the number of waiting messages there over the icon. You can turn that on or off various apps. Um, you can show a preview of what the message is. Uh, you can have the alert repeated and how many times. So for instance if you want to make sure you get your messages you can have it repeated 10 times. Uh, if you get messages all the time uh, you can maybe set that to never. And whether or not that message alert, uh, that notification appears in the lock screen. Now if you go back to the notification center and choose another app, let's say reminders, you can see that there are different settings for that. So it doesn't have all the same settings as for messages. Uh, we can choose another one for instance here and we can see different ones. Here's one for sounds. You can see you can have little sounds that appear uh, and you can turn everything else off and only hear a sound. For instance in the Gmail one um, this was annoying because I had sounds turned on for a while and every time I got a Gmail message which was many many times per hour uh, I would get a little sound on my iPad. I couldn't figure out what it was until I turned off the sounds there and I turned on other notification options so I can actually see the email come in. Also some items will appear below here in the not in notification center area. So for instance in here are things that you've turned off from notification center but you can still turn them on. They're still available to you. So you can say turn on banners here and you can see it's still not notification center until I turn on notification center and it will appear there. You can see it jumped now to the top section. Now the notification center itself, I'm going to tap and drag from the top of the screen to bring it up. Uh, I can clear items so I can tap the little X there and hit the clear button to clear that. So it clears out all those notices if I've read them all. Um, I can also tap on a specific one and it will perform an action. Like for instance obviously uh, this will take me to that item in that app. You should also keep in mind that sometimes Inside the apps I've noticed they can set some of these settings. So for instance in a game you can choose to have notifications shown or not and uh, the only way to then turn it off might be to go to notification center but you can turn it on and sometimes turn it off from inside the app as well. So there's your look at the iOS notification center. Obviously it looks a little different on a more compact screen like the iPhone and iPod Touch but the functionality is basically the same. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.